Hello dear students. Today we are going to start our poem of lesson number 2. We have already completed the explanation of prose of lesson number 2, My Early Home. And today we are going to listen to the explanation of poem of lesson number 2, Choosing Their Names, which is written by Thomas Hood. Now Thomas Hood is a famous poet, author and humorist. What is a humorist? Those who write things that contain humor. And what is humor? In simple language, things that are intended to make you laugh or make you, you know, bring out the satire, hidden humor. Even if you say serious things, you uh, add, you know, express it in a certain way that creates um, smile, happiness inside you. Okay? Like you watch comedy shows on TV, those present humor. You know, even serious things they express in such a way that you don't feel bad listening to them. You enjoy it. Okay? So, this, uh, this poem, Choosing Their Names, also has humor in it. Now, first thing that you have to do, note it down and do that after you listen to the whole video, okay? Then you will go and ask few questions to your parents, okay? First question is, what's the meaning of your name? If you already know the meaning of your name, ask them, why do you, did you choose this particular name? And many of you must be having two names. One formal name that's known in school and one name that is your pet name. So ask your parents that did you keep my pet name just because of my appearance? Because sometimes parents find their children, uh, you know, uh, some children are very round and fluffy when they are small and they are named Golu. So if you have a pet name like that, go and ask your parents, why did you name me? Why did you give me this name? And for your formal name also, ask them, was there any background? Were they going about, you know, thinking about you? I will name my child with this particular letter. So find out everything that is associated with your name. That information must be there with your parents. And who named you? Your grandparents or your parents? Okay, these are the few questions that you need to ask your parents. Next, why do you think we need names? Now think over it and let me know when we meet finally. Okay, so you in three, four lines you can write it down somewhere. Why do we all need names? Okay, write down this question and answer this in three, four points. And I'll see it. You let me know when we meet. Okay, now in the warm up you can see there are three cats and they all are in terms of appearance different from each other. Now you know dear children, as human beings in terms of appearance are different from each other and nature also. You know sometimes when uh, there are twins identical twins which look exactly like each other, still their nature, you can uh, see many differences in the nature of siblings or twins. Everyone, everyone has a very, you know, defined nature. Means there are traits that make us unique. Okay, for animals also, they all have traits. Even if uh, there is a, a cat or a dog which give birth to many, uh, you know, uh, kittens and puppies. So, you, they are all belonging to the same mother and father. Still, like humans, they are also, you will find that their nature and appearance are not identical to each other. Everybody has a different uh, nature and appearance. Sometimes they may look alike but the nature definitely will be different. So this is common between animals and humans too. Now let's see uh, what you have to do in the warm up. So you have to look at the picture of these cats and give them names. 
you choose names for all these three cats and we will see if your name somewhat matches the names or given by the poet now let's start reading the poem our old cat has kittens three what do you think their name should be one is tabby with emerald eyes and a tail that's long and slender and into a temper she quickly flies if you ever by chance offend her i think we shall call her this i think we shall call her that now don't you think that paper pot is a nice name for a cat one is black with a frill of white and her feet are all white fur if you stroke she carries her tail upright and quickly begins to purr i think we shall call her this i think we shall call her that now don't you think that shootkin is a nice name for a cat one is tortoise shell yellow and black with plenty of white about him if you tease him at once he sets up his back he's a quarrelsome boy never doubt him i think we shall call him this i think we shall call him that now don't you think that scratch away is a nice name for a cat okay now we uh, we will start the explanation of the poem now the poet here is talking about his old kitten uh, his old cat which has now three kittens okay now the poet is thinking what should we name all these three and he is discussing one by one the characteristics the nature and the appearance of the kittens and then he is giving you a name and asking you is it a nice name for a cat now let's see okay one is tabby the first cat is being described here one is tabby with emerald eyes now what is tabby having dark colored marks on gray or brown fur so how does the cat look she is gray or brown uh, having gray or brown fur and she is having dark colored marks on all over her okay now Uh, the poet has given you the physical appearance that he, the cat, kitten is having emerald eyes also and then uh, it has got a tail that is long and slender what is slender long and thin okay and into a temper she quickly flies means she has got quite a temper temper means when you get mad okay when you get angry immediately so she gets angry immediately so her temper can quickly her temper flies means you do anything to uh, you know that she doesn't like she will immediately become angry and if you ever by chance offend her offend means make upset means if you do anything that she doesn't like and she gets upset then she will immediately be temper means she will be immediately angry now the poet says what should we call her i think we shall call her this i think we shall call her that and then he says now don't you think that paper pot is a nice name for a cat so here you see the poet decides the name paper pot by the appearance physical appearance of the cat and her nature also you see the paint the cat is having brown fur and there are black spots so this is how paper uh, pot looks you know paper you know what is paper paper is uh, the kalimiri you know have you seen uh, kalimirch powder if you have not seen ask your mother she will show you so the paper pot you know mix you need you mix paper and uh, you mix in paper pots you mix um, pepper and salt and it gives the appearance is almost same as the cat um, the way the cat is looking and you know if pepper goes in your eyes yeah it will trouble you it will burn so 
the cat also if it gets angry it is going to trouble you right so i think that is the reason that the poet is naming the cat pepper pot because of her appearance and her nature the temper that she has then the poet says uh, describes the next uh, second number cat he says that this one is black with a frill of white now what is frill a strip like a border means there are not patches there is a strip of white okay and her feet are also all white fur you know and if you stroke her she carries her tail upright means she will immediately make her tail stand you can see in the picture right this is the second cat second kitten i'm sorry the kitten okay now and the poet says quickly begins to purr what is purr purr is the sound that cats make you know when they are happy and then again the poet says i think we shall call her this i think we shall call her that and then he gives you the name and what name does he choose sutkin and he ask is it a nice name now again you see he chose a name based on the physical appearance and the nature now this cat is quite gentle and she likes it when you uh, stroke her and she is all black with some white patches and her feet is also all white fur so based on that he na names her sutkin because of her appearance and her soft nature then the third kitten one is tortoise shell what is tortoise shell a hard shell of a turtle that is yellow orange and brown here the cat is of this color you know the cat has the color of a tortoise shell so what is the color yellow and black with plenty of white about him white is also there as we can see in this picture see the cat is having white yellow and black all mixed in her body and if you tease him he at once sets up his back sets up his back here means may be become very angry you know and he is very quarrelsome don't doubt his doubt that he will be happy about anything the poet says he is a very quarrelsome one hmm? so the appearance is yellow black and white one that looks like a tortoise is shell that is the color that the kitten is having and then he is also a very angry cat like the first one i feel uh, this one is angrier you know this one is quarrelsome the poet is saying that this one is quarrelsome and if you tease him immediately it will be in, a, in attack mode sets up his back means when the cat you know uh, gets very angry is about to jump they will uh, arch their back in such a way that it will be up like a camel's hunch they will and make it round you know it will look like there uh, they have made a u with their backs you know when they are angry so this one does that every time if you tease him and this one is very quarrelsome be very sure about it that's the poet is saying and then he gives you the name scratch away he's naming this third kitten scratch away and again asking is a nice name for a cat now you see why did he name the third kitten scratch away because this is very uh, a, it is a very quarrelsome kitten and if you tease him it will it is uh, immediately arching the back and it will jump on you and scratch you you it will not do exactly but that is how the appearance sounds that this cat will get angry and it will scratch you okay that is what the character is portrayed by the poet so you see the three kittens are named pepper pot sutkin and scratch away based on their appearance and nature now this was the explanation of this poem we are done with it hope you all understood any confusion i have already i already keep on telling you many times i have already told you that i will again deal with any confusion if you have okay now uh after this lesson you will receive the 
notes of this lesson prose and poetry both combined and after you write it down in your cw like you wrote the last time then you open the pdf that i have sent you of this lesson and go to page number 28 you will find there is a comprehension don't note down the comprehension in your rough book all the assignments that i give is made you should always do it in the rough book so don't write the comprehension passage just write there are five questions that have options with them so you just write the question and write the correct option hope it is clear and this you will do after you complete writing your cw work your notes of lesson number 2 hope i am clear and we will meet when i make the next video or when we meet in school i don't know chapter 3 will be taught by video or we will finally meet in the school there is a lot of un uncertainty like uh, right now we cannot be certain so i hope i meet you soon till then stay indoors take care bye bye